This is KTVO's Good Morning Heartland. Welcome back. During the long winter, it's easy to fall into poor eating habits when fresh local produce is a distant memory and comfort foods become the norm. Making matters worse, your training likely tapered off during the colder months, and if you've emerged from hibernation feeling lethargic and heavy, now is the time to spring clean your diet. But spring cleaning doesn't mean restricting yourself to juice cleanses and detox. We have Dr. Trish Sexton, who is the Associate Dean for Curriculum for the Kirksville College of Osteopathic Medicine here this morning to tell us how we can clean up our diet just in time for spring and summer. How are you doing today? I'm well. How are you? I'm doing great. So I am one of those people that definitely forgets to go and work out and then of course all the comfort for food tastes fabulous but then heading into the warmer months all that stuff finally starts to feel heavy on me. So what are some ways that we could kind of cut that out of our system? Right. Yeah, it's this is a, an exciting time. It's yeah. good to kind of have a, a renewal, a yeah. rebirth of your diet. So, mm -hmm. you know, the first thing we can do is just cut out our extra sugars. Mm -hmm. So the added sugar that um, is in your foods, maybe mm -hmm. you eat sugary cereals mm -hmm. or maybe even canned soups and pasta sauces, things like that. So anything that has fructose corn syrup uh -huh. or um, dextrose on the label, um, of course, fruit sh sugars and um, natural sugars that are found in mm -hmm. our foods, those don't count. Yeah, but it's the artificial sweeteners it's that we're seeing. added sugar. So, okay. Right. So cutting that out, can that's a big step that can make you start feeling a lot better. All right. Now, a lot of people say go raw. What does that mean? Yeah. Try to eat your foods fresh whenever okay. possible. So there's some studies that even indicate that cooking foods allow you to absorb more calories mm -hmm. because they're easier to digest, they don't take as much work to digest, but most importantly, you get rid of a lot of vitamins and nutrients by cooking foods. And mm -hmm. it's hard not to cook foods in the winter. Right. You know, you're eating canned foods and uh -huh. frozen foods and things like that. But as far as fruits and vegetables go, of course we always cook our meat, mm -hmm. but as far as fruits and vegetables go, eating them raw, adding fresh fruit or mm -hmm. vegetables to your mm -hmm. salads, to your pasta, mm -hmm. you know, not everything has to be cooked yeah. and that's a lot better for you. And even on the go, I know I love these baby carrots. Oh, I put them in a little Ziploc bag and then I just munch on them when yep. I'm working on my show. So a that's awesome. Snack. And then also experts recommend choosing and adding color to your, yeah. to your diet. Yeah. And that's an especially great one for kids, uh -huh. you know, and for all of us, but yeah, the more colors you can have on your plate, mm -hmm. most likely the better off you'll be if okay. it's not artificial color. Okay. So adding berries, you know, mm -hmm. to your smoothie. Um, blueberries are great. These are raspberries today. Mm -hmm. um, adding peppers, mm -hmm. red, yellow, green peppers to your salad. Mm -hmm. um, any kind of color that you can add to your plate, fresh vegetables to your pasta. Okay. And just eating it that way. Mm -hmm. And um, and actually, it, it um, he's your palette by mm -hmm. by being visually interesting too mm -hmm. and it'll make you more excited about eating. Yeah and of course with all that like you said different colors just makes it look nice and then mm -hmm. of course you want to eat it. Now a lot of people also recommend uh, just staying in your kitchen. What does that mean? Yeah cook at home. Okay. We just eat a lot more calories and certainly a lot more fat when we eat out. Mm -hmm. Now they have the nutrition facts on the on the menus and uh -huh. things like that. It doesn't seem to be making much of a difference to people. So once you get out and everyone's eating around you and it, it looks so good and there are so many choices, we're just tending to eat more. Mm -hmm. So the more you cook at home, the more likely you are to make healthy choices. All right. And finally, of course, a drink up. And when we yeah. mean drink up, we mean water, right? Drink water. <laughs> so anytime you reach for a soda mm -hmm. or a, a sugary drink, put it back down and, and replace that those ounces with water. Um, people say maybe a half an ounce to an ounce per pound of body weight. Mm -hmm. So oh, thinking that way. That's a good that's a good way to kind of indicate how much water mm -hmm. you actually need because I know a lot of people say, you know, eight, twelve ounce glasses right. of water and all that stuff. Right. But when you think about that, everybody's different. Right. So right. of right. course kids need more. But um, but water's really, really important for your diet and it can make you less hungry. Mm -hmm. And even now I know I'm one of those people that don't, I mean, I like water, but when it's a little bit, uh, has a little taste to it. So even adding some sort of fruit to it. Sure, they have the infusers yeah. now. Yeah. And you can add that and get a little flavor there. Okay. Yeah, but but water's water's really important, and it'll make you feel like it's spring. Yeah. Well, perfect. Well, thank you so much, Dr. Sexton. What we'll do is we'll post everything on our website at heartlandconnection.com. Thank you again for coming on. You're welcome. Thank and we'll you. be right back.